parts to a cast. There's the visual, and then there's the voice. Now, sometimes there is no voice. But if there is a vocal cast, where the voice influences the dog in relationship to when he sees the hand has an effect. Because we're going to say that any hand signal influences the dog in the direction of the hand signal, right? And so it's going to influence more left or more right. The word back influences away from you, okay? So when I want a straighter back and just a little bit of change, I may go back so the voice and the hand hit almost simultaneously. And then there's times where I go back and I want to get a little more directional change and, 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 and kind of bend them around with the voice. So the primary part of the cast is what affects the dog first. Now, then you have to kind of take into consideration the distance you are from the dog because the time it takes for sound to get there is different than the visual part. The speed of sound versus the speed of light, right? So you see somebody shoot a flyer way in the distance and you see the feathers go and then it's a second and then you hear the report of the, of the gun. So you realize, wow, it took a while for that voice, that sound to get there. So if you, if you want it to be, sometimes you have to say the word back, wait a, a split second and then cast to, to time it right. So what I was saying to Christy, the dog was kind of, she was tacking them through the decoys. She was on the left edge of the corridor. She wanted to bump her to the right a little bit. And she went back. And the dog responded more to this than the verbal. And the dog almost took her right hand over. And I said, because the dog had broken down a little bit, that it needed a bigger influence to go away from us. So I, that's why I said to you, I would have gone, ah! just about like that. So the voice was firm and a lot of conviction to it. And I think it had punched him out of that area. He was, you can see the dog started to hunt a little bit. He said, oh, look at all this. And, and now, you've, now it's not only the smell of that mark, it's the influence of the foot scent of the person walking out, picking it up. So there's a lot of reason for a dog to break down and want to hunt them. Plus the decoy. So if I want to create, uh, I, I mean, what exactly, I remember right where you were, and I said, oh, a voice first or almost in my... Now, the, re the, the risk sometimes, if the voice beats, the, you may not be able to predict which way they turn. But that would have been my cast. And you went, that. And it doesn't feel like much difference. But to the dog, it was like this.